Senate Chairman Alan Greenspan saying that if prices go down, the subprime problems may spread. Well, one place they are not going down is Seattle. So let's head to the Capitol Hill neighborhood of Seattle and join Dick Fulton. He is managing broker at Coldwell Banker Bain, and he joins us now. You're not seeing the problems that, say, the Miami markets are seeing. In fact, you've got the opposite problem of price inflation, correct, Dick? Well, <clears throat> the problem of price inflation starting in 2005, our average single family uh, medium price went up about 18%, while other areas like Miami went up over 40%. And that really is a percentage you can't sustain. But 18% is sustainable, especially when you have a marketplace that has a lack of investors, just people moving in with new jobs. It's a different kind of marketplace than the speculated market. Okay, what kind of numbers are we seeing? What kind of demand are we seeing from, let's say, the, the median priced home in Seattle? Well, the median price home in Seattle is now about 430000 for a single family residence. And when we take a look at the appreciation that's taken place over the last year, we're now about 9% higher than we were a year ago. So while the other areas of the country have been cooling off and, and coming down, we went from 18% appreciation to 9% appreciation, which, which again is something that our market can sustain. You know, listen, you know, as a broker, is that what you want to see? Would you rather see the steady gains or would you rather see the, the four and five year boom periods, even if they're followed by a slight bust? Without any question, as a real estate broker, I like to see steady gains, consistent, so that you can, you can sustain it year after year. The kind of volatility where you go way up and way down is very, very anxiety provoking, not only for brokers, but for buyers and sellers in a marketplace. They really can't predict what's going on and that's uncomfortable. So steady gains are the way to go. You know, I know that it's been recent, but of course I'm sure you've been following all the subprime news, et cetera, and you, you likely deal with the higher end buyer, but have you had your clients come to you and say, you know, that they don't really understand what's going on or express concern? Not yet. Again, that's, that's a very new topic in, in the news. What we're finding in our marketplace with our clientele is that we have nice, steady, low interest rates. In fact, they're much lower than we anticipated they were going to be. Going back uh, six months and a year ago, we expected them to be higher than they are. So it's still a green light for buyers to get involved in the marketplace. You know, we've seen bond yields come down, and I've often wondered, Dick, is there a magic mortgage number? I mean, let's say some of these arms, you know, they've come up. Is there sort of a six, six and a half, seven percent range where people really step in or step out? You know, we found that there's a pretty good tolerance with the buyers. There's so, so many choices with the different ARM products that we can really custom a, a given loan for an individual. And so people are, if they want to buy, there's a loan that we can, use, we can get for them to use. Yeah. Okay, so, so it, do, you, do you feel like we're going to see any kind of a credit shut off or any, is it going to be harder to get a mortgage these days? You know, I've read articles that uh, Freddie Mac is uh, tightening up their underwriting criteria, but on the upper end clientele, it really hasn't been the case. This is really a matter of keeping your credit score up. If there's one, one uh, commodity as an individual that you better protect, it, it's, it's your credit score. And when you have a good credit score, uh, the, the underwriting criteria is liberal and you're going to be able to get what you want. All right, so for people who are getting jobs at Microsoft and moving to that area, they should be prepared to, to pay. Well, they're going to they're going to pay uh, a, a pretty good price for their property, but the money that they're going to borrow uh, is at a very attractive rate. All right, Dick Fulton, Coldwell Banker Bain, joining us from Seattle, one of the strongest real estate markets in the country. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right, take care. Still ahead, we're going to focus on the emerging markets.